right, in this video, we are going to practice invoicing a billable expense. The exercise we're going to follow along with is over here on the right hand side. And this is pulled from our advanced level pro advisor certification course. If you would like more information about that course, be sure to click on the link below in the description after we go through the exercise. But let's dive right in and see what our scenario will be for today. Kate has contracted with Craig's Landscaping Services to do some yard work in her, or to do some work in her yard. She decides she wants a rock fountain, and so Craig offers to get her one at the discount from Tim Phillip Masonry. Later, he will just add this to Kate's invoice. So you will need to be in a sample company to do this exercise. Now, if you're not sure how to get into the sample company or get your own free QBOA account, be sure to click on that link below in the description. I have the sample company pulled up over here on the left hand side. This is what we will work in for this exercise. So let's get started. First, we need to create an expense transaction for the purchase of the rock fountain using Tim Phillip Masonry as the vendor. So to do that, we're going to click on the plus new button and then select expense up here on is that plus new button on the top left corner. Click on that and then under vendors, go ahead and click on expense. Now, when that expense transaction shows up, we're going to fill it out in the payee field by uh, selecting Tim Phillip Masonry. So click into it. You can start typing in his name. You can scroll down. Um, once you find him, go ahead and click on his name. And you'll notice that once you do, you will have this um, pop-up drawer show up. You'll notice that a purchase order was created previously and pops up here. So we want to add it to the expense. Simply just click on the uh, add button right there. Now on the rock fountain line in the billable field, we need to click on that checkbox. Um, that was put down here in the item details area. That is because um, rock fountains are an inventory item. And so that is why it's here versus the category details. If you want to collapse this category details grid, just click on the little arrow right there um, and that disappears. Now you only have to see the item details grid. So once again, in that billable field, you want to click into it and then select that checkbox. Um, note that you will need to click in. Yeah, it says right here, click into the field first for the checkbox to appear. Now on the same line, um, we are going to type in or get into the customer field. We're going to look for Kate because again, this is being billed to her. So we are going to, uh, you can either type her name or you can scroll down until you find her. Once you do, just go ahead and select her name. And now we are simply going to save and close this transaction. And that expense has now been saved. Now let's create an invoice with Kate Whalen as the customer. We're going to click on that plus new button again and then select invoice. So that plus new button is right here. Click on that and then under customer select invoice. Once the transaction appears for us, let's go ahead and fill it out. In the customer field, we're going to select Kate's name. You can either click into it and start uh, scrolling or you can type in her name to have it show up. Um, either way, make sure that you click on her name and you will notice that once you do, you will see this pop-up drawer show up again. Now, um, this is the rock fountain that was just purchased um, on her behalf. And so we want to add it to the invoice. Click on the add right here. And now that um, expense is going to show up right here for us. So now we just simply need to click on the down arrow next to save and send and then select save and close. This is now um, um, all good to go. So click that down arrow and then select save and close. And there you go, that invoice has been saved. And that is how you would invoice a billable expense. If you like this exercise and you want to do more like it, or you want more information about that advanced level pro advisor certification course, be sure to click on the link below in the description and I will see you in the next exercise.